Some foods are good for you, some foods are bad for you, but some, some are extraordinarily awful for you. You could even call them lethal, but some of those foods, they still get eaten. There are some risky diners out there. These are the deadliest foods people actually eat. Number 20. Stonefish The name stonefish doesn't exactly sound appetizing. I mean, who wants to eat something that could potentially taste like stone? Well, that would be the least of your worries, to be honest. Eating stonefish might put you at risk of, well, dying. These ugly-looking fishies are covered with sharp spines that are filled with deadly poison. According to experts, they are one of the most venomous fish species we know about so far. Stonefish can be found in Indo-Pacific regions around countries like Australia, Japan, China, the Philippines, and Indonesia. Sometimes you can find them in rivers, but they are primarily marine fish. They get their name not from their taste, but their looks. They can camouflage themselves to look like stone to pretty much stop them from being eaten. But that doesn't stop us from trying. We eat anything we can get our hands on. Once you remove the dorsal fins, you're pretty safe to eat these fish. It's the catching that would probably be the most dangerous part. The venom also breaks down when heated, but you can also eat stonefish raw in sushi. It's a delicacy in parts of Asia like South Japan, Guangdong in China, and Hong Kong because the flesh is sweet and dense. You can even eat the skin if you want to. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the odd topic. While it's not very common in most of the world, there are some places on the planet where eating the likes of mice, rats, hamsters, and gerbils is surprisingly common. The meat is often described as tender and tasty by those who eat it, but is it safe? Well, the real issue is cleanliness, given the lifestyle of said animals. Preparation is the key, and often it goes very badly, leading to diners getting seriously ill. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Fugu we have so many fish species to eat, yet for some reason, we prefer to dance with death and eat those that we really shouldn't be eating. Fugu definitely falls into this category. Fugu is Japanese puffer fish, and there's just one word to describe it. Toxic. Unlike other poisonous fish like stonefish, fugu is toxic everywhere, especially the skin and organs. If you accidentally cut into the wrong part while preparing to eat this fish, it can release a deadly cyanide neurotoxin. Death is pretty common and there's no antidote. So at this point, you might think we just leave these fish alone in the ocean, but we are not that bright. Instead, we eat them anyway and rely on accredited chefs to know how to prepare these fish not to kill us. And if they do make a mistake, well, it's game over, and it's not immediate. Firstly, the toxin will paralyze your muscles, so you'll remain conscious, but you won't be able to move. You'll notice a numbing sensation that starts on your lips and spreads throughout your body. Then, you won't be able to speak or move. Eventually, you'll die of heart failure or asphyxiation. Just one fugu has enough cyanide neurotoxin to kill 30 people. I'll just have the salmon, thanks. Number 18. Aki Fruit Aki fruit is one of those surprising deadly foods that people can eat. It's a delicious staple in Jamaica, yet it's a banned import to the US because it can be poisonous when unripe. It's only been in recent years that small volumes of canned ripe aki fruit have been allowed in. Aki fruit comes from the aki plant and is native to tropical West Africa. When ripe, prepared correctly, and cooked, it's a mouth-watering delicacy that you'll actually probably enjoy. But for many people, the risk is too significant to even try it. 
When you eat unripe ackee fruit, even when cooked, you can experience a wide range of horrible side effects that may end in death. The unripe fruit has chemicals that harm the liver. It can also cause low blood sugar levels, convulsions, and death. And here's the doctor telling us that fruit's good for us. <laughs> yeah, I won't be falling for that one. But how do you know if it's ripe and safe to eat? Well, usually you have to leave it to completely open. Once it's open, the seeds are discarded and you can boil the fruit in salted water or milk. Some people also fry it with butter and serve it in soups, curries, and stews. Number 17. Sanak Chi. Sanak chi is a controversial dish. Most people probably won't try it or want to try it, but it's actually a delicacy if you live in or visit South Korea. It consists of live octopus. That's right, you eat an octopus live. All you do is take a live octopus from a tank, put it between your chopsticks, dip it in sesame oil, then eat it. It's often served with side dishes and alcohol. As you can imagine, this dish is not one that animal activists like, and it's certainly not a common way to consume food. But where's the danger in it? Well, that comes down to the fact that the octopus is alive. You have to chew the octopus quite carefully because the octopus can fight back. I mean, wouldn't you if you were being eaten alive? They can cling to your throat, which means they can choke you to death from the inside. Probably not surprisingly, this dish is a genuine choking hazard, and around six people die from eating it each year. In 2010, a South Korean woman collapsed and stopped breathing after eating a live octopus. She died in the hospital over two weeks later, and her boyfriend was actually convicted of murder, although the Supreme Court overturned his conviction. Number 16. Pakurul if you have an enemy and want to treat them to something truly terrible, just give them Hockerl. You'll get the gist of why it's the perfect gift for your enemy when you realize what it is. Rotted Shark. It's an Icelandic delicacy and a tourist favorite. Hockerl comes from Greenland sharks, which have meat that is poisonous to humans. Surprisingly, people eat this voluntarily. To make it edible, it would be buried in the dirt for months. When you dig it up, it smells chemical-like with a stinky cheese flavor before eventually smelling and tasting like urine. Sounds delicious, right? It used to be a necessity for survival, but now it's just something you'd eat at an Icelandic festival or if you'd really just have no taste buds. It's available in most food shops in Iceland, but is fermented in a much more hygienic way. Not that that helps the flavor. When settlers first arrived in Iceland, they had to clear trees to build homes that damaged topsoil. They struggled to grow crops and raise livestock, and food was hard to access since they were so far from civilization. My God. They quickly discovered that Greenland sharks in Arctic waters were toxic, but they decided to bury them in the sand for a few months, cut them into strips, and then hang them to dry before eating them. Number 15. Cassava Now, this might surprise you. How could something we eat all around the world be one of the deadliest foods? Well, it's all in how you eat it. Definitely pay careful attention to the preparation of cassava if you don't want to end up sick. Cassava is an excellent source of nutrients and is often turned into puddings, cakes, and chips. It can also be steamed, grated, mashed, fried, and boiled. It's as versatile as your average potato. But just as you wouldn't eat a potato raw, you also shouldn't eat cassava raw. And it's not just because it would taste terrible. Both varieties, bitter and sweet cassava, contain cyanide. Bitter cassava contains more, which is good news for those of us living in the US since most of our cassava are sweet. If you eat raw cassava, you can experience low levels of iodine and even tropical ataxic neuropathy. This condition can cause loss of feeling in feet and hands along with poor vision, walking problems, and weakness. Children may experience paralyzed legs, and you may also be at an increased risk of goiter, which is an enlarged thyroid gland. Surprisingly, these side effects aren't even the worst that can happen. Some people die from eating raw cassava. Just stick to mashing puddings.
Number 14. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is a delicious vegetable used in cake, muffins, pies, sauces, and more. It has a lovely tart flavor and tends to be treated more like a fruit than a vegetable. Rhubarb looks entirely innocent, but it's not. There's one part of it you shouldn't eat if you don't want to become extremely unwell, and that's the leaves. The leaves look like spinach, and you typically cut them off and use the rhubarb stalks. They're inedible because they contain vast amounts of oxalic acid. The stalks do as well, but not nearly as much. If you consume too much oxalate, it's not good for your health. So you can see there's a group in here. There's a group in here. You may develop a condition called hyperoxaluria, which causes too much oxalate to be present in your urine. You may also accumulate calcium oxalate crystals in your organs. Even your kidneys can be impacted. You might form kidney stones and eventually experience kidney failure. Fortunately, you do tend to get a warning sign that you've consumed rhubarb leaves. You might experience vomiting and diarrhea. However, severe oxalate toxicity can present as nausea, vomiting with blood, abdominal pain, a sore throat, and difficulty swallowing. Some people also experience muscle twitches and cramps and numbness. Number 13. Red Kidney Beans Many of us enjoy red kidney beans in a range of dishes like curry, chili con carne, burgers, and salsa. However, what if we were to tell you that red kidney beans can be deadly? Now, before you start throwing away perfectly good cans of kidney beans, it's essential to understand that their danger comes down to their preparation. Eating just a few raw or undercooked beans can be enough to cause an illness. This is because they contain lectin. This can act as a toxin, especially when it hasn't been cooked out. You may experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The best way to avoid getting sick from red kidney beans is by boiling them for 10 minutes at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. To be on the safe side, some people boil them for up to half an hour. This completely destroys the toxin. Surprisingly, people still get sick from red kidney beans even when they know of the importance of cooking them thoroughly. This is because they sometimes prepare bean dishes in their slow cookers. Research has shown that slow cookers only cook the beans to an internal temperature of 160 Seven degrees. This is not enough to completely destroy lectin. Number 12. Kazumartsu. Cheese is delicious. I mean, there's nothing better than macaroni and cheese for lunch or cheese on crackers. But what about kazumartsu on crackers with a side of potential death? Kazumartsu from the Italian island of Sardinia has a Guinness World Record as the most dangerous cheese in the world. Fancy a taste? I'm trying not to vomit in my mouth as I share this story with you. Uh, the cheese has maggots in it. Cheese skipper flies lay their eggs in the cracks of cheese, usually a salty pecorino, which hatch into maggots. These maggots navigate their way through the cheese, digesting the proteins and turning the cheese into a soft, creamy variety. Once they've done their job, the cheesemonger opens the top and scoops out what's inside you will quickly notice that the cheese is moving. Some cheesemongers put the cheese through a centrifuge to merge everything together, but locals tend to like it as it is. They eat the cheese and maggots as they are. As you can probably assume, it is banned from commercial sale with fines for those who try to sell it, but Sardinians have been eating it for centuries. The tides may also be turning. In recent years, the European Union has been looking at how to revive the grub eating movement, since eating them may be able to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to help with the climate crisis. Number 11. Blood Clams Most clams have clear blood, but blood clams don't. They get the name blood clam because their blood is red like ours. Unlike other clams, theirs contains red blood pigments such as myoglobin and hemoglobin that help them to live in low oxygen environments. Having the same type of blood as us means they are susceptible to some of the same types of diseases. For example, they can carry hepatitis A, dysentery, and typhoid. If we eat them, we too can get these same diseases from them. 
Surprisingly, they are still delicacies in places like South Asia, although most people know better than to risk it. In 1988, 31 people died from consuming blood clams. At least 15% of people who eat it get an infection. Is it really worth the risk? Not to mention the fact that when you open them, it's like looking at a murder scene. We're so used to seeing clams without red blood. In saying that, only Chinese blood clams are banned in the United States because of sanitation. The levels of pollution where blood clams live means there may be an increased risk of infection when you eat them from these areas. If you were to consume them from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic, they are mostly considered safe, and these varieties are found throughout Europe and North and South America. Number 10. Monkey Brains If you had the choice of eating any food in the entire world, what would it be? I can tell you what probably won't appear at the top of your list monkey brains. However, some people like to live life on the edge, so some people still do eat raw and cooked monkey brains. Again. <laughs> Again, what? Rumor has it that in parts of China, they are eaten raw, and even though we're not sure if it's true or not, some people prefer to eat the brain directly from a monkey that is still alive or freshly dead. Apparently, the monkey's head is supported in a bracket with two pieces of wood before the head is shaven with a razor. A chisel and hammer are then used to remove the top part of the skull. The person eating it might then remove the brain with a teaspoon and consume it fresh. That's awful enough, but then there are the disease risks to consider. First and foremost, there's variant Creutzfeldt jakob disease to consider, which is sometimes called mad cow disease. It can cause psychiatric problems, painful sensations, and behavioral changes. If that's not bad enough, eating monkey brains may also put you at risk of the herpes B virus and a range of other prion disorders that can take years to present themselves. Honestly, just stick to burgers. Number 9. Star Fruit There's no denying that star fruit from tropical areas and originally from Asia is pretty. When you cut it, each piece is in the shape of a star due to its many angles. It would definitely present beautifully on a fruit platter and the flesh isn't terrible. Some people describe it as being mild to sour to bitter. So it's not the best fruit out there, but it's not the worst. Although it is pretty close. Eating star fruit can actually be quite damaging to your health. So if you were to choose between a banana and a star fruit, the banana would be the much safer option. Star fruit can have a particularly harmful and toxic effect on people suffering from kidney disease. Other substances in this fruit can also have a terrible impact on your brain, potentially leading to neurological disorders. Most people who have healthy kidneys will efficiently process and pass the toxins out of their bodies, but this isn't possible for people with kidney disease. Instead, it remains in the body and can cause a variety of symptoms like seizures, mental confusion, hiccups, and even death. Number 8. Hot Dogs Hot dogs, the staple of every festive occasion in America and a family favorite for quick, easy dinners. But did you know hot dogs are dangerous? Probably not. Now, hot dogs aren't dangerous in the way you might think. Sure, they're pretty processed and probably contain huge amounts of salt and fat, but they don't contain toxins in the way, say, a Japanese puffer fish would. The most dangerous thing about hot dogs is their perfect shaping to become a choking hazard in children. Pediatricians at Johns Hopkins Children's Center have been giving hot dogs a lot of attention lately. Research suggests that they are now the most common cause of food-related choking in children under age 3, followed by hard candy, grapes, and nuts. At least 17% of choking cases relate to hot dogs, followed by 10% caused by hard candy, 9% caused by grapes, and 8% by nuts. The risks relate to their size and consistency. They can plug a child's airway to stop any air from getting through. As children have a high level of activity and don't yet have a complete set of teeth to chew and grind properly at age 3, they are at significant risk of choking. Number 7. Potatoes Thunk! Oh, sorry, that sound was my jaw hitting the floor. How on earth can potatoes be a deadly type of food that we still eat? After all, they're delicious mashed, boiled, baked, 
fried the list goes on. They appear on most people's shopping lists, and they are one of the most versatile vegetables we've ever had. But in some situations, they can be pretty harmful. Have you ever noticed a green potato mixed in with your bag of perfectly normal looking ones? You might think you can just cook it how you would the others, but there are plenty of reasons why you should just throw that one away. Green potatoes tend to contain high levels of solanine, which is a neurotoxin. It's naturally present in potatoes, but in quite high levels within green potatoes. If the solanine level in a potato is above 0.1%, it can make a person sick. Typically, most people notice that their potato isn't good to eat because it tastes bitter. If you notice bitterness, stop eating. Even two pounds of potatoes with high levels of solanine can make you experience fever, headache, diarrhea, stomach pain, vomiting, a slow pulse, a low body temperature, and slow breathing. Number 6. Unpasteurized Cheese out of all cases of food poisoning caused by contaminated dairy products, almost all of them come from unpasteurized cheese and milk. They also cause about 840 times more illnesses than their pasteurized counterparts and around 45 times more hospitalizations. Each year, about 760 cases of illness caused by unpasteurized milk and raw cheese are reported, which lead to about 22 cases of hospitalization, although that doesn't take into account all the unreported cases. If dairy products don't go through the pasteurization process, they can contain a wide range of bacteria like Salmonella, Campylobacter, E. coli, and Listeria. These can lead to typical food poisoning symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea, but also severe illnesses in some people. For example, Campylobacter can turn into Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is progressive paralysis not everyone recovers from. Some E. coli strains can also result in hemolytic uremic syndrome, which may cause kidney failure. Pregnant women can also be at risk, with listeria infections sometimes leading to miscarriages. Some people also die from listeria infections as well. The problem is, raw dairy products are on trend, and they are legal in many states throughout the United States. To prevent the risk of illness, consume pasteurized dairy products. The pasteurization process prevents spoilage. Number 5. Bitter Almonds Ask any nutritionist what to eat as a healthy snack, and their go-to would probably be a handful of almonds. They are delicious and nutritious, but you may not realize there are actually two types of almonds, and one is actually better for you than the other. We have access to sweet almonds and bitter almonds. The ones you see on your local supermarket shelf and in baked goods are sweet almonds. It's only been in the last few thousand years that we've been able to get sweet almonds, as before then, only bitter almonds existed. Existed. Bitter almonds have a bitter taste, what do you know, and you won't find them in supermarkets. Typically, they're just used to make bitter pastes and extracts. Aside from the taste, you probably wouldn't eat bitter almonds because, when raw, they're poisonous. They contain glycoside amygdalin, which is a toxin that breaks down into compounds like hydrogen cyanide. This toxin can cause death. Just six raw bitter almonds may be enough to seriously poison someone, while up to around 50 bitter almonds may lead to death. Some research shows that heat processing causes hydrogen cyanide to leach out of the almonds, but you probably wouldn't want to risk eating one to find out how much heating they require to be safe. Number 4. Nutmeg the nutmeg we love to put in baked goods, drinks, and savory dishes comes from the nutmeg seed present within fruit grown on a tree in Indonesia. Once the fruit is harvested, the seed is dried before being turned into the spice that many people adore in eggnog, puddings, and pies. When you're hunting the internet for your favorite nutmeg dish recipe, you may come across a rumor that nutmeg can create a high. Is that true? Well, it's complicated. There's a chemical in nutmeg called meristocin, which is also present in plants like dill and parsley. It's a naturally occurring compound that tends to be found in higher concentrations in nutmeg. In the human body, the breaking down of meristocin can produce a compound that affects our sympathetic nervous systems. Some people experience a range of side effects like dizziness, nausea, and hallucinations, which may make some people want to consume a large amount of nutmeg spice to feel a type of high. 
several nutmeg intoxication cases have been reported over the years, with some intentional and some unintentional. For example, an 18-year-old complained of dizziness, nausea, heart palpitations, and feeling like she was in a trance-like state after consuming 50 grams of nutmeg in a milkshake half an hour before her symptoms began. Another woman also experienced dizziness, confusion, grogginess, and a dry mouth after consuming only 10 grams, or 2 teaspoons, of nutmeg. Number 3. African Bullfrogs I can think of many reasons not to eat African bullfrogs, and that's without knowing that they're poisonous. I mean, they don't exactly look appetizing, right? In Namibia, locals know that giant African bullfrogs can cause kidney failure, but their deliciousness and being viewed as a delicacy means people eat them anyway. They are often eaten during the rainy season in Namibia, but people in the eastern province of Zambia also consume them, except there they reportedly eat them whole. According to some people, the deliciousness of these frogs outweighs the risks, especially when you can avoid many of the risks through proper preparation. Locals say to eat them after the third rain or when you start to notice the frog populations are breeding and croaking. Each frog, which can grow up to the size of your average house cat, can contain enough poison to be lethal. Typically, if you eat them after poor preparation, you may experience kidney failure and burning sensations in the urethra. Most people who eat them skin them and eat the legs. Fortunately, there's little risk of eating them without knowing what they are since frog legs look like, well, frog legs. Number 2. Fasique Imagine wanting to follow your cultures and traditions so much that you would be willing to die for them by eating something incredibly harmful. Every year in Cairo, when the spring festival Shem El Nassim begins, hospitals prepare beds for the inevitable rush of patients to come. Some will survive, but many will die, and it'll all be for fish. Fasik, to be exact. Fasik is a gray mullet fish that's been dried in the sun and fermented in salt for up to 12 months. This preparation method puts those who eat the fish at serious risk of botulism, which can be deadly. Health officials have asked people time and time again to avoid this part of the festival tradition, but they continue. 18 people died in 1991 from eating the fish, two in 2009, another two in 2010, and probably more since. Dozens more have also been hospitalized. Much of the danger comes from the lack of salt in the fish while it's being prepared, and some people also create physique by using dead fish that they found floating on the sea surface. Number 1. Elderberries Elderberry bushes, native to Canada, are common in many public places and people's gardens. The berries from these bushes are delicious in tea, syrups, supplements, wine, jams, and pies, and they are safe to eat if you harvest them while ripe and properly cook them. The problem starts when you try to use the leaves, twigs, seeds, and unripe berries. They contain fatal levels of the cyanide-producing glycoside. If the berries aren't strained properly or fully ripe when turned into something like a pie or tea, they can cause diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. If you devour hour enough unripe berries, you may be at risk of seizures, coma, and death. Just one cup of an elderberry product that hasn't been appropriately prepared can lead to serious illness, and up to five cups may lead to death. Fortunately, it's quite easy to tell when elderberries are ripe and safe for eating. They're a deep purple to black color. Don't pick unripe elderberries as they won't ripen once harvested. Never eat green or bright red elderberries. Fortunately, they taste bitter, so you probably won't want to eat them anyway. I was of the impression that dangerous food were things that could either eat you while you're trying to eat it, or contain deadly poison that you may not always be able to remove properly. As it turns out, some completely ordinary food can also be deadly. Do you eat any of these foods? Do you know anyone who does? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!